Yo, what's up guys? Happy 4th of July. Celebrate your independence. And that's what I'm going to do this morning with you guys by sharing you this uh, upgrade and uh, mini build, as it were. So this is a special edition Raptor R that I did an unboxing already on. And yeah, let's uh, let's do something with this baby. So, it's supposed to be bone stock. Let's look underneath the hood. Let's see what we got here. All right, so, look at that. This is not bone stock. <laughs> so, um, I upgraded this the other day and just didn't want to film it because I've done this upgrade so many different times. And it's pretty straightforward. This is a bolt-on, bolt-in uh, upgrade. And that is to take this truck from stock, you know, with the Neleon motor, right? Look familiar? Yeah, yeah. So you take one of those out, and you put one of what you see in. And, uh, yeah, I really didn't do a whole lot to it other than drop that in there. So, uh, I also moved the receiver box all the way to the front, and I also put in a uh, different uh, servo, uh, Savox, Savox, I'm probably not saying that right. But anyways, I put that in there. Uh, so, uh, what we're gonna do for this one is, number one upgrade, Tires. So these are for uh, the Max or Max Slash or anything that takes a 17 mil hex, right? Well, these aren't 17 mil hexes. I think they're 12, whatever, whatever size tracks is used. But uh, I got a one of these, right? So this will now allow me to put these bad boys on and they're substantially larger uh when i got them out of the package i'll uh give you all a thing so here here's what this really is about is uh doing a body lift on this because i don't want to trim the body because of these uh fat tires well they're not super fat but there's definitely uh, a nice improvement and i think it'll be a nice uh, size uh, improvement and what you know give it a little bit different stance and uh, yeah we'll move these out of the way but anyways a body lift right and you're like okay I can see that so you also can do a uh, chassis lift and do the same thing I'm doing with the body on the chassis so if you really want to go in both directions you can and um, that just fits right along with today's society. Man, I'm not poking at anybody. It's more like it's just how things are. So anyways, uh, I'll take these uh, clips off. And um, I'm going to replace all of the screws that are in here with these ones. Uh, they're a little bit longer. Just a little bit. So, um... Here, here's the really cool thing that is what's going to make it happen. It's going to add weight, though. That's the only problem. You can't look at it from a weight standpoint. You have to look at it from a, uh, a form function. So these are, I believe, 20 millimeter standoffs. Uh, I'll put it on my thing here. here. Yeah, they're uh, 20 millimeter standoffs, right? So use one of these in conjunction and this is nothing more than a spacer for you and then they fit right on here like nothing right so that's pretty much it you just put this in there and um, elevate the clip off the body and you're done so uh i'll take all the parts off here and then uh you'll see what happens I've only done this on um, one other body, and that is my uh, C10 body that I have on my HCG 
four by four max slash. So yeah, it's a Chevy C10, it's four wheel drive and 6S, and it has a body lift to accommodate uh, the C10 body being so different than, you know, the slash. Um, it's actually for a drag slash, so yeah, that's what it is. Uh, maybe I'll pop that out at the end of the video and uh, give you all a look. But for now, let's get this out of here. You see how short these are? And they're also uh, much smaller too, in comparison, right? It's like the two and a half button head versus the two button head. And the length, well, yeah. You see it. And these are stainless as it came out of uh, my spare screws. I just bought a set of these so I'd have a bunch of screws laying around because they've been known to back out even if you use Loctite. But not if you use the red stuff, but you're probably going to have to use a little bit of heat if you're going to use the red Loctite with anything. So I use the red Loctite sparingly and only in, you know, when I really need it. So anyways... We'll just, uh, maybe I won't drop them in there, but I'll keep them off to the side and we'll keep going. It should be pretty easy. Helpful thing, support the, um, this, the body and behind the screw you're removing and it'll come out a lot easier. Also, if your bit is magnetic and ha is sharp, right, and it actually fits the fastener, comes out every time. Also goes in every time too, so long as you don't cross thread it, which I don't, I've done that before, but it's very rare that I cross thread anything. All right, so pretty straightforward. Uh, why don't we just do the front one first? Change bits first. All right, so my little MIP number two and a half. And always hand start it. I don't mind using the bit to start it because, you know, I got man hands. You know, I I was tightening up um, one of those drive cups on on another build I did, and you know, I cut myself, and I didn't even realize until like much later. I was like, oh, okay. Don't get me wrong, I feel pain, <laughs> just like everybody. Well, most everybody. There are those that sometimes do not feel pain. Okay, so, um, it should still suck down to the body just fine. And I'll put this in here far enough. No, I'm silly. Well, there's one one mark on the inside that's gonna show. Yeah, if not, no biggie. I'll uh I'll make another body. Probably do uh I don't know, maybe another forward body. Maybe put something entirely different on it. Like the wheelbase is so long, you know, like I have you know choices and options. Only so much. Oh, all of this stuff fell out while I was that last screwdriver drop. Eh, that's what it looks like. One piece. And I ain't talking about the anime. Ha ha ha. And there we go. All right.
You know what, I'm just gonna put all of these on and then I'll do it one by one uh, to when I go to attach it to the body. That'd probably be a lot easier. Maybe I should have done this as a live stream. I don't know, it's kind of early. There's, I don't know how many people are actually gonna be awake at, you know, 9.30 in the morning on uh, good old Independence Day. So I may not need to do all of these. Like by all rights, I could probably do three or four on this front one since there's five attachment points and it'd probably be good. Like. I could skimp on one just just because it's in the middle and it's, it's not going to affect anything, you know. Like, it's nice for alignment, but yeah, I could probably do without it, you know. I knew I might need some longer ones for that. Well, uh, after seeing that, I may go and find two different screws because they're not, they don't, they don't seem like it's long enough. It's on these corners because the standoff that they have built in to the clip is, um, I don't know, it must be a millimeter or two thicker. Let's see, I'll get this thing to, to work and it'll have the standoff that I want and I can put the body aside and put them tires on and we'll get this thing done. We're already at 12 minutes, good lord. It don't take long to uh, eat up time. Uh, this is like your standard YouTube video length is 12 to 15 minutes and I haven't even barely got half of the body done. But I'm also not trying to use my power tool a whole lot either. All right. Okay. Well, I'm gonna pull a couple of longer screws here real quick, which I just happen to have here. I had a feeling I was gonna need the longer ones, but I, wasn't, I didn't know for sure until I you know, pulled it off. You know? Unless I measured this ahead of time, you know, like, 
yeah. How are you gonna know unless, you know, you know. And yeah, be careful. Yeah, they get kind of hot. So, uh, yeah, anyone else out there doing, uh, speedrun cars? You know, I'm, like, thinking I might go into that. I got a couple builds in mind, and I got a bunch of parts that are just sitting here. Not really doing anything. So, I thought I might just throw it out, out there and see if there is anybody else doing that. And what cars are they doing it with? Because it seems to be that there are a lot of different animals out there and people all trying to squeeze the speed out of them. Phew. Trying to get away from me. So, just so y'all know, everything that I get, or that you, you see on here, on this channel, I get from either the internet, or Amazon, eBay, that, that type of thing. So, if you want it, all you gotta do is search it. It's that easy. It really is. So, maybe I need to get this started with a different screw first. That might be helpful. I don't know, maybe I need to drill it out. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I got my drill. Uh, should this be sitting here? Oh, yes. Put it away. Okay. And pick me a drill bit that is just a hair smaller than the screw. I've had that drill bit box for a long time and I've replaced so many things out of it. And yeah, there's just all sorts of stuff in there now. All right. Now, ideally I'd like to do this on a drill press, but I don't have one uh, that I'm willing to set up right now, at least inside. So I'll just do it by hand and be very careful. You really don't have to take out a whole lot. It's just enough so you can start the screw and then should be fine after that. As the, you'll cut threads. And Traxxas's choice in plastic is very forgiving. So uh, yeah, let's uh, try this one more time.
kind of awkward a little bit, but uh, I have a feeling this is going to be well worth the effect that I'm going for. Just, hey, what, what can I expect? It's a flexible body, and I'm, I took it, some of its rigidity away by taking off the clips, so. Once I get them all aligned, it'll be a lot, a lot better. I'm fighting me a little bit. Might actually have to go get my wrench. Now, as I'm doing this, I see that um, Trex has incorporated a kind of a clamping system with their parts. Now, I could probably put stack up washers enough on the inside to counteract it, but I figure I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue underneath and that shit comes off, you know. staying put but uh yeah it's gonna need some hot glue or something because i can tell that it's gonna shift yeah it just looks like it's gonna shift but that's all right let's move on to the back 
get it done real quick. All right, uh, where did I put my two? Two is right there. And out we go. Too easy. And uh, yeah, there's our two retention bits right there. All right. Same as before. So, drill these out real quick. Okay, put the drill side and yeah. Screw you, drag to jump. I saw it. I'm just going to draw out these other ones to make these other just go a lot easier. That first one was a little bit rougher than I wanted, but that's all right. Standoffs. Yep. 20 millimeters stainless steel M3 st standoffs. And they're, I don't know, I can't, these were like 10 bucks for five of them almost. Yeah, not cheap for parts, but highly useful. Because I can use, I've found a couple different uses for them. Yep, I got, what, two, two uses. That I use myself right now. And one's the body lift and the other's uh to retain um the uh center diff on uh an XRT. And uh yeah I should probably do that build for you guys too so that you guys have an understanding on what I do a little bit differently than Chris Olson does. Um, I watched Thunder RC today on YouTube and um, he's got the PNW RC uh, motor mount system in his truck and looks good. He pulled it out, everything looked just straight. You know, couldn't ask for any better by all rights. Uh, 
there's someone on Amazon selling a comparable mount that's cheaper. So there's that. Why are these not long enough either? Or do I need to cinch them down in there? Oh yeah, that's probably what I need to do. Cool, yeah, I think that I can use the recess. It might be big enough to take the, the standoff. It's either that or I gotta find four longer screws because I may have not used the, the right length. I don't know, we'll see. If I can get it on there, it'll work. Okay. such an odd position to hold this in. That's better. That's better. One more. Or one one side left, and then uh, yeah, You'll be able to see the method to my madness. Yeah, let me give a shout out to all the YouTubers that are doing RC online. You know, and I'm not. Meaning just so the RC on or RC driver online either. But yeah, all of them cats that are out there. Raz, Raz Ship Sh Shiffrin, um, Kevin Talbot, um, Tom Lee RC, Thunder RC, Rusty Screws RC. many others and I probably did, I just didn't even scratch the surface there's so many people doing it but it's fun and I can see why yeah, definitely gonna need to do something about the rears yeah. moving around but that's all right um, so yeah just a little little bit of glue probably just make it stay and um, it won't move um, I'll, I'll put hot glue on it later I'll get the truck up here so you guys can see it, what it looks like on it. And it lines up just fine. Like, nothing changed, seriously. You know, just the distance. Right? Too easy. And look how much it changed. 
I mean, that, that's huge. You can see, see the distance up there, right? It's huge. Now it'll accommodate the larger tires. So speaking of that, uh, yeah. Uh, stick the bottom off and then get rid of, get rid of these uh, brand spanking new tires. side oh i can't use this tool that's rude that is rude i had to use this thing oh man no wonder that thing's barely on i've had too many wheels come off because um they weren't put on very well so all right Let's make this a little easier. Now well, that one's on for sure, for sure. Um, man, I might have to use my strength enhancer. There we go. Honestly, I was just too lazy to pull out my bit that fits these. Uh, these nuts. These nuts. Sorry, that was inappropriate. I apologize. Yeah, I went with El Cheapo for uh, my stand. Yeah, that one wasn't on very well either. So that was two that came not torqued down fully so somebody slacking there over at the factory because these things should be coming out like like the box says ready to race ready to run right that should be no uh untorqued parts like granted like oh man that's three so the front were super loose and um only one of the rears was actually tightened on there. What I felt was tight enough because I had to use some, a different tool to help me, you know? All right. So there's the, the old ones or rather ones that are being replaced. And I got these belted ones. These should last so much better. Like, don't get me wrong, the slash tires that this thing comes with, or, I don't know, maybe they're not slash tires, but the slash tires that come with a, a regular slash, like, they're good, but they really need to have a belted, uh, you know, kind of monster truck, aggressive uh, tire for the slash. And, you know, it'd be great. They got it for the Max Slash and all the other larger trucks. Why not the smaller ones, you know? Same thing with aluminum um, aluminum wheels. I'd love to have some aluminum wheels that carry a low-profile tire, but it has, you know, a tread on it like that. That'd be awesome, you know? I mean, super low-profile. I mean, th for this being kind of an off-roading tire, yeah, this is super low-profile. You know, you look at the back and much different diameter. Like, Jack is doing something. I don't know. I'm probably just singing to the wind. Anyways, let's get this, these adapters out and then uh, get them on the truck so we can take these new tires for a rip. This truck has never even seen pavement yet. It's brand new. Yep, brand new. Not seen. Oh, look at that. See? Nice new pins, save them for later, because they do tend to disappear sometimes. Um, this is such an easy, easy installation too. Uh, I, I just love it. Like the only complaint I have is that you have to use this honker, right? To do the installation. Um, so it's too easy, right? 
to take the old tire off and, and um, wait a second. Yeah, where did all my little wheel nuts go for, for this? That can't be right. How the heck was that held on? Where's the 12 mil hex? Nah. That can't be right. Oh, there's one. There's two. There's three. And I'm missing one. I did not get one of mine. Or it came off and fell off when I took the tire off. Well, that's odd. Maybe I have it, maybe I don't. Well, it don't really make that big of a difference. They're plastic anyways. So, anyways, after removing the wheel, uh, the 12 mil wheel hexes, you just slide this on over the existing. It should be too, too easy to do that. Oh, come on. Is this like a larger size? It is. That's dumb. They made it so you couldn't do that. That means I'd have to change out the axles. Are you kidding me? Man. What is up with that? And then it, coming to find out, like, yeah, one of the wheel hexes is missing. Well, that's silly. Yeah, that's silly. That means I have to replace the CVs with, like, something else to make this work. Um, okay. Well, to be continued, uh, I'll get some CVDs in this thing, and then, uh, yeah, I guess this is now a two-part video. Alright, see you in a minute. Well, wait a minute. I'm just gonna, uh... Hold off here for a second. Okay. All right, so I guess this video just got longer, so metal CVDs. Uh, this shouldn't take too terribly long, so long as there aren't any other parts that are abnormally, unmistakably larger. And this is what I get for not specking out the car beforehand to see what's what. Um, I'll take off one of these and see what I get. up a little bit before I move on to this and then we'll come back to these All right, let's get these out of the way so strange that I would be missing one of those little 12 mil um, hexes right. and save these for later or in case I cannot make this no <laughs> putting in these CVDs shouldn't be an issue I'm gonna pull that thing off here just a sec all right I'll take this one right up here because that's the first one that I looked at um, yeah. Sorry, I was thinking about which way I want to disassemble this and what's going to be a little easier for me to deal with. Oh, 
simply, um, it uses the same stuff for the CVDs, and um, I'll be able to do an easy swap. that pin all right so this is what we're looking at in the truck and I'm probably going to have to change the bearings in this thing because they may not be the right, they're not the right size, I can already tell. We'll see. Yeah, that's a much different size. Yeah. Beefcake for uh, what comes installed already. Can I just put another bearing on it and then call it good? That would be too funny if I could do that. Do I have any extra bearings though? That's the thing. I think so. Bearing, bearing, bearings. Oh. I swear I had some extra bearings. extra bearings. Let's see if uh, I can get one of them to help me out in this situation. Which is... I don't think I... Yeah, I don't think so. I could probably figure it out. I'd need uh, the same outside diameter and then the inside diameter of, uh, or the outside diameter of this for the inside diameter of the bearing. And somebody in town probably has those. Hmm. Well, um, I suppose if I were to put on different, uh, carriers, it wouldn't be an issue. But that kind of defeats the point of that. I might as well just, you know, have an elongated slash at that point. Well, uh, yeah, man. So I think that's what this is going to end up being a build is uh, with that, too. So... Yeah, I'm having to think real hard there, fellas. Alright, so I think I'll skip this deal, the uh, CVDs, for 
for now and um because they're obviously not going to fit with this 12 mil hex missing boy what drama and this is supposed to be a brand new truck to you and i do, i don't think i have another one of those um oh sure enough i do how thick is it? How thick are they? There it is. Okay, so. Oh, cool. Yeah, I got I got a spare. I the will work just the same it'll probably wear out faster than the, the hd ones that are in there yeah that sucks i gotta put this shit back so i just so i can roll it this this, this should have went over like no problem i'm gonna track this part too i wonder if my other ones will work probably not i don't know find out right so i got some other ones here it's the same principle there's just it's a chinese company um they're they're different though oh look at that oh well, this is the ones i'm using i'm not using the traxxas ones now that's awesome. Okay, so moving forward, I will put it back together, and uh, we're going to go with uh, the different colored ones. Or the aqua. All right. Well, that's cool that I had those in reserve, and that I didn't have to go a different route for, you know, modification. Aftermarket parts, don't knock it until you try it. Um, especially if you're just trying to get something to work, you know? Um, if you want something better, right, go go buy the better thing, you know? But if you're testing something, buy the cheap shit, you know? If, you, it's gonna, if you're testing something to break, for sure, you know? Go. Great. This is going to be awesome. About the only thing that's not going to be on this truck is uh, a little American flag and. If anything, I'll go stop by the store and pick one up today, being it's 4th of July. Okay, it's in there. Put this tiny little shim back in place. It came off. And the pin. Actually, scratch the pin because it's getting uh, the grub screw that has the built-in pin on the end of it, which are in here. Well, actually, these are for the CVDs. And, yeah, let's get let's clear this off. We don't need those parts in here right now. Here, let's get these over here. Less, less for me to look at in front of me. All right, this. Ah, uh, yes, this right here. 
That's the magic. Can't can't use the shim. That's funny. Yep, shim makes it too takes up too much space. Okay, well, set that aside for later. Never know when you might need an extra shim. This little thing right here, that lip, is not preventing me from gaining access to yeah, nice tolerances, really nice tolerances. Um, yeah. Okay, um, where is my file? That's probably the easiest and the least noisy. Same shit. Can't use these either. Um, it, it's them CVDs. They're just not the right. Uh, they they don't jam jam with uh, these extra parts I have. Um, I got one other set that I can try, but my guess is they're probably not going to work. Um, yeah, let me see if I can find them. Oh, oh. 
new set with red hardware. Eh, forget it. I'll figure it out later. Um, yeah, that's kind of sad that that didn't work. going to have to be CVDs and uh, RPM parts later. So, well, that's just going to have to be it for this video, I think. Uh, well, cat's out of the bag now, I guess. You guys know what I'm wanting to do. Well, stink. Where did I put that pin? That's okay. I got more. Okay, guys. After I got it sorted, we'll go take it for a rip. But hope you enjoyed the, the body lift and uh, seeing how that works out. So, yeah, until then, see you on the next one.